Oh, the fans here in Cleveland have been very excited. It is hot in Cleveland. That's my segue to the first ever NFL Network appearance of Betty White for crying out loud. Go, Betty. <laughs> So the last two weeks have been stellar like for the Browns after trading away Trent Richardson. Who knew they would defeat two playoff teams from last year, the Vikings and the Bengals. Brian Hoyer becomes the first Browns quarterback to win his first two starts since 1994, for crying out loud. And Jordan Cameron, he has become a touchdown maker of the first variety. The tight end has four crutch receiving touchdowns. That's tied for the most in the National Football League. While in the last two weeks, the Browns defense, not a single touchdown pass allowed the brian hoyer family enjoying uh there's a dad axel and uh mom julie sister lauren having the hoyer family tailgate outside the stadium uh, now he is a local kid and his dad axel is a season ticket holder so brian hoyer can totally understand why his play while exciting has engendered mostly guarded optimism here in cleveland after all this is the place where an obituary once read how the deceased had requested players as his pallbearers so quote unquote the cleveland browns could let him down one last time but of all the quarterbacks who have come before him in the possible role of brown savior Hoyer has some unique DNA within him that has folks around here especially hopeful. I've named Brand, uh, Brian Hoyer as the starting quarterback. Brian Hoyer from Michigan State. Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer. Even after leading the Browns to two straight victories. Here's Hoyer. He's going to throw. Right flat. Caught. Touchdown. They got it in. Even after shining a bright light on what was supposed to be a lost season in Cleveland. Yeah. The question remains, just who is Brian Hoyer? He's the local kid made good from nearby Lakewood, a two-sport star, then a reliable arm at Michigan State, passed over in the draft, but thrown a lifeline by the Pats, and a chance to learn from one of the greatest arms in the game. Brian is mentally tough, always trying to do the right thing. Hard work really pays off, and it's just a matter of getting an opportunity. He carried what he learned from that stop in New England and another in Arizona ultimately landing with his home team, one that has searched long and far for a QB solution that might have been right in front of them all along. When you dream of playing in the professional leagues, you dream of playing for your hometown team. You're always waiting for the chance to actually go out and do it on the field. Hoyer underneath center, second and goal. They throw it for Cameron in the end zone. Touchdown! They did it again! And the Browns have gotten back into it now with two wins engineered by Brian Hoyer at quarterback. So Brian Hoyer's last two weeks has been a magic carpet ride compared to his first 15 games of his career. It's, there is no comparison. I mean, I don't even know why we're even trying to attempt it. I mean, what he has done in the last two weeks has saved the Brown season and nobody saw a winning streak coming out of the Trent Richardson trade. I mean, not a single soul here, not even the ones that hoped for the best after pulling the trigger on that trade here. So, Brian Hoyer, I mean, what can we learn from the recent success from him, Marshall? Paul? It's just a story, Rich, you know, I, and I played with Kurt Warner, and everybody knows about Kurt's story and, and where he came from and what he did. But the part that I wonder about in this story, because Mike March and Norv Turner, they're so close. I just wonder if, if, if in sitting in their meeting rooms, like when we were sitting in, in our <laughs> meeting rooms, and Mike would coach through the backup quarterback, and, and we all thought that Kurt was just this quarterback that just could get right. He could do no wrong. He could do no right. Everything that he did was right was wrong. Mike never said anything to Trent Green, and lo and behold, Trent Green goes down. Kurt comes in. We're in this huddle wondering, man, this guy. Oh man, it's going to be a long year. We travel to Detroit, Rich, and I kid you not, he threw about 20 passes, maybe 25. Only incompletion was two. Two balls hit the ground, and we were looking like, wow, this kid can play. And I believe the same thing has happened for Brian Hoyer here. That lifted us up. We went on to win the Super Bowl. And right now, early in this season, we're watching Brian Hoyer lift his team up along with his defense. And they're th two wins. I mean, it's not much, but around here, wow, that's a win streak. I think Brian Hoyer sat over there on the sideline and say, when I get my opportunity, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get in there and do totally opposite, make my reason. One thing about a Norb Turner offense, it's a timing offense, is it not, Mike? It's a timing offense, and he understands by sitting over there on the sideline, I got to get the ball out of my hands. And another thing, when Trent Richardson got traded, 
That's in a shot throughout all of the Cleveland Browns. Let me tell you something. This guy was only behind Andrew Luck in RG3, and you trade him? Everyone said after that trade, man, that could be me. Guys, if you can play this game, you're going to get your opportunity. That's what this is about. Remember in preseason, it was all about Brandon Whedon. And remember the guy, Jason Campbell? Brian Hoyer wasn't even nowhere on the radar. So, right. you know, he kept his confidence. He kept his faith that he would get his opportunity. And to me, this, go, this bodes well for young players. This must, this has to have you believe in that. If, when you, if you're good enough to play in this league, Michael, you will eventually get your opportunity to shine. Because no one does everything, LT, but everybody does something. In your skill set, you just hold on and fight. Your skill set, you can find the right team. And I think that's what Brian Hoyer has done. He's found the right team that matches his skill set he's a smart guy he's not the most mobile guy but being that time in offense I can drop back and let this ball go and since now also when Brian Hoyer took over Josh Gordon came back and when you watch film and when he drops back he's like hey X receiver anytime cover three cover one he's letting that ball go to Josh on time he's done a wonderful job running this offense